hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add the functionality in which the player will be able to switch between different rifles and also we will play that rifle animations as well okay for example if the player is holding the pistol then we will play this pistol animations and if the player is holding the rifles then we will play this shooting animations in order to do this open up your game manager script and right here make a header by the name of ui and animations then we need a reference to the animator manager script then type animator manager add a start method In here say animator manager equals to find object of type animator manager so once the reference is set up go ahead and open up the player controls folder then open up player controls in here we have these buttons so let's add one more button and name this as change rifle for example okay and we're gonna change rifle using the c key of the keyboard then save it after that get back right here create a public pool by the name of change rifle input then right here type change rifle and right here type change rifle input okay and then scroll down copy this method paste it and then name its method as change rifle input okay then if the change rifle input is pressed what we're gonna do we're gonna set it to false then we're gonna call this method in the handle all movements handle all inputs actually that's it then let's make a method for setting the pistol in the player hand okay so first of all we're gonna check if the rifle one is not active okay and if the rifle one is not active then we're gonna say animator manager dot animator dot set pool let's set the rifle active pool to false then copy this paste it down below and right here we're gonna set the pistol active to true okay so this will play the pistol animation after that we want to show the pistol in the player hand so type pistol game object prefab dot set active set it to true and we want the AKM and the M416 uh, game object to be false. So right here type AKM game object prefab. Set it to false. Set the M416 game object to false as well. And then at the end we're going to say rifle 1 active equals to true. Okay. Then in the else block. what we gonna do is if we doesn't have the rifle one active so we're gonna set the pistol active to false and also we're gonna set this to false as well just the pistol this time remove a cam 
and the other one and then right here make the rifle one active to false okay then let's copy this method paste it down below this time change its name to set AKM and in here we will say if the rifle 2 is not active then we are gonna active its animation first of all and make the pistol active false and right here the pistol will be false and this time the AKM will be true okay and then we will set the rifle to active to true then in the else block both of these will be false and right here we will set the a game game object prefab to false as well and right here make rifle to false okay make sure that you do this step by step so that you don't miss any change in this method then let's do it for the M416 so right here change its name to M416 then this time it will be rifle 3 this will be the same we just have to make the AKM false and the M416 to set it to true and rifle 3 this time will be equals to true then this will be the same right here instead of AKM just type M416 and right here change this to rifle 3 active false now if we scroll up right here let's make a reference to the input manager okay so in here to set the reference we will say input manager find object of type input manager Okay, once we have the reference now let's add a update method in which we will now toggle between different trifles using the C key okay as you know we set up the change rifle input first of all we're gonna say if the change rifle key is pressed okay so input manager dot change rifle input then first of all we're gonna check if the pistol prefab boolean is true it means if the player has pistol and if that pistol is not active then set the pistol active okay so call the set uh, pistol method then set the rifle one active to true because now rifle one is true okay then we're gonna copy this and right down below we will say else if the AKM prefab is true and rifle two is not active then set AKM and right here we will set the rifle two active to true then else if the M416 prefab is true and the rifle 3 is not active then set M416 call that method and set rifle 3 to false okay then we're gonna say else if the pistol prefab is true and the rifle one active is true or if the AKM prefab is true and the rifle 2 is active or if the M416 prefab is true and the rifle 3 active is true then what we're gonna do we're gonna set rifle one active to false okay we're gonna set rifle two active to false as well and rifle three active to false as well then also we're gonna 
set the animator uh, booleans to false as well which is the rifle active and the pistol active and also we will remove the rifles from the player hand so pistol game object prefab dot set active set it to false with this also set the AKM game object prefab dot set active false and then the M416 game object prefab dot set active false that's it if we save the script now and get back to unity right here if we select this uh, transition which is from pistol back to movement right here by mistake we set is grounded to false so make sure that it is pistol active and set it to false okay and then we are ready to test our game so if we check the game manager as you can see none of the prefab is true so if you press the c key as you can see nothing happens now let's buy the rifles so right here if you press e let's buy the first one the second one we can't buy the third one so we just gonna leave the third one okay now let's check it out if we press c as you can see akm is active if we press c again now the m4 is active and if we press c again as you can see all of them are get removed okay let's manually change the player money to 50 and let's buy the pistol as well okay let's buy the pistol now as you can see we bought the pistol so now if we check it out as you can see now the pistol is active now the AKM M4 and now all of them get removed okay so our inventory system works perfectly fine and since everything is set up the animations now we can uh, take out the rifles as you can see so the next thing which we will be doing is adding some shooting so for that, see you guys in the next one.